continue our discussion, my dear students, in our um, biochemistry lab. Again, uh, we have to review about proteins. So we have proteins. So we have a different uh, classification. We have simple, conjugated, or and derived proteins. When we say simple, it's composed of globular and scleral proteins. So for globular, in our lecture, we discuss about albumins, globulins, lotulins, rolamines, histones, lubins, and uh, protamines. For scleral proteins, we have collagens, elastins, and keratins. For conjugated, so we have nucleoproteins. Conjugated, we're in proteins combined with the prosthetic group, where the non protein part. Okay, we have the nucleoproteins, uh, glycoproteins, mucoproteins, dipoproteins, phosphoproteins, chromoproteins, and metalloproteins. And we have derived, so we have primary and secondary. So, yung derived is coagulated proteins. So, this one we will discuss proteins, metaproteins, and secondary proteases. Uh, this is the enzyme involved in the uh, or protease enzyme involved in the hydrolysis of peptides. You have peptones, polypeptide, and peptides. Okay. For derived proteins, these are proteins derived from partial to complete hydrolysis. From simple or conjugated proteins by the actions of acids, alkalis, or enzymes. So, in the hydrolysis process, there is addition of a, uh, water at the same time, there is what we call an enzyme involved in the hydrolysis. Example, uh, hydrolysis of a, a polypeptide, okay, or hydrolysis of a proteins which involve the protease enzymes. Okay. They include types of derivatives of primary, primary de derived, and secondary derived. For primary derived proteins, these, pro these proteins derived are formed by the process of slight changes in the protein molecule and its properties. So there is a little or no hydrolytic cleavage of the peptide band. So there is, when you say derived proteins, there is no hydrolytic or hydrolysis process involved in the cleavage of the peptide band. So protein, proteins, or you know, proteins known as are water insoluble products formed with the action of water, dilute acids and enzymes. That's why uh, in you know, you know, in our experiment in metaproteins, metaproteins are derived proteins. Okay, they are uh, coming from the lean meat, beef meat, or pork meat, and they are uh, coagulated by heat process. Okay, and the uh, actions uh, and with the actions I mean of the uh, alkalis and uh, acids. Okay, so we have myosin from myosin, so fibrin from fibrin regen. So we say myosin, these are uh, muscle fibers that taste the important uh, rule in the muscular contractions. Okay, fibrin and fibrin regen for the blood clotting uh, actions. We have metaproteins, these are formed by the action of acids and alkalis upon protein. So, nakita nyo sa, uh, sa metaproteins, usually, if you have Milon's test, that is reddish-brown. So, if you try to see the, mic the the results in the videos, okay, even in picric acid test, there is a uh, yellow precipitate, okay? And then, we have the mercury chloride, it is known to be the white precipitate, okay? Yun sa actions, I mean, the of the sulfur, so usually, para may rotten egg, or even a black one precipitate is known to be the presence of sulfur. So, mabahaw yung sulfur doon. Okay? So, coagulated proteins. Coagulated proteins are insoluble. I mean, uh, sorry. Uh, they are insoluble in neutral solvents. So, what are the neutral solvents? Of course, we have water and blood, the common. So, we have coagulated proteins. Coagulated proteins are insoluble in products formed by the actions of heat or alcohol or natural proteins. That's why if you add acids there and then or you coagulate the egg so or coagulate the the lean meat so tendency there is what you call insoluble products that are formed so yung cooked meat or even the cooked albumin ba yung say clog yung white part is the al is the source of the protein okay secondary derived proteins these proteins are formed in progressive hydrolytic cleavage of the peptide bonds of protein molecules so mean in so there is a hydrolysis of the peptide bonds okay uh, these are roughly grouped into produces peptones peptide and the average 
according to the average molecular molecular weight so it depends upon the molecular weight of that uh, secondary derived proteins you have produces or hydrolytic products of proteins which are soluble in water and are not coagulated by heat ito yung mga produces we have peptones usually peptone usually this is used in the uh, bacterial culture okay peptones no, na combined sa sodium chloride plus water so are hydrolytic products which have simpler structure than produces okay yung mga peptones of course mga mga peptones it contains peptone or peptide and then they are soluble in water and not coagulated by heat peptides are composed relatively of few amino acids they are water soluble and not coagulated by heat so mga baka ng mga peptides they are water soluble because based on the chain of amino acids they are a chain that is almost less than 25 chains so gamay lang sila gamay lang yung molecular weight so pwede sila ma-dissolve in a water okay so tawag doon mga oligopeptides classification of proteins based on the function we have catalytic proteins so we discuss enzymes so the most striking characteristic feature of of this and proteins is the ability to catalyze okay or to do the biocatalyst of the different molecules are involved in a, a different reactions in our body so these are known as biocatalysts <clears throat> known as enzymes they speeds up or hasten reactions and they uh, utilize also uh, ATP during the chemical reactions enzymes represents the largest class so it has different uh, uh, classes of enzymes present in our body so ligase, lyase, oxidoreductase nearly 200 different kinds of enzymes are known so enhance the reactions that is considered rates a million fold regulatory proteins or hormones so these are polypeptide and small proteins found relatively lower concentration in animal kingdom uh, kingdom i mean but play highly important role in maintaining the complex metabolic reactions that's why uh, hormones is uh, plays the important role in metabolism okay uh, of course there are there are there are hormones that is responsible also for the communication process growth hormones okay and maintenance of the metabolic uh, processes involved in our body so contractile proteins example ng regulatory proteins yan example yung mga glucagon they tend to bind with the glycopeptide uh, receptors then they facilitate the increase or to stimulate i mean the release of the insulin for the treatment of diabetes Contractile proteins, these are proteins, actin and myosins, they are responsible for the uh, uh, skeletal muscle contractions, okay? Secretory proteins, secretory, this is not secretaria, this is secretory proteins, fibroin proteins secreted by spiders and silkworms to form webs and cocoons, okay? Protective proteins, we have antibodies, so usually these, these are responsible for defense mechanism. Okay, the proteins combine with protein, foreign proteins, and other substances to fight against certain diseases. So, ang dawag mga immunoglobulins, these are protective proteins. These proteins are produced in spleen, lymphatic systems, and responds to foreign substances like antigens, so, or other uh, microorganisms, okay, or, uh, or mga microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, okay. The newly formed protein is called antibody, which specifies specifically combined with the antigen which triggered its synthesis therefore prevents the development of disease that's why yung antibody is the is the soldier of the body so it involves in the defense for infections for the diseases fibrin usually it is all known to be a protective protein responsible also for the uh, protection against blood coagulations for ganon okay we have storage protein. It is the major class of proteins which has functions for storing amino acids, okay, and building blocks of the growing embryo. Okay, storage proteins are source of essential amino acids, so essential amino acids, naton, which cannot be synthesized by the human beings. And storage protein is falses is globulins and prolamines in cereals. Okay, we have major storage proteins in glutalins albumin of egg, casein of milk, and also storage proteins. We have transport proteins that are capable of binding and transport. Specifically, ito yung mga 
uh, involved in the transport of oxygen, especially in the blood, ba? Hemoglobin, conjugated protein. So, uh, the globin and ferroprotofyrin or the hemi or the hemi group, okay? Uh, it has a capacity to bind with oxygen and transport throughout the blood or various tissues of the body. Myoglobin, a related protein, take note, transports oxygen in the muscles. Usually, a myoglobin is the oxygen binder. Lipids bind to serum proteins like albumin transported by different lipoproteins. Ano yung mga different lipoproteins? We have LDL, the low density lipoproteins, the high density lipoproteins. We have the the what we call this one, the uh, HDL or high density lipoproteins. Okay. Next, toxic proteins. Some proteins are toxic in nature. So ricin, ito yung makita sa castor oil. So, it is considered very toxic and hazardous. Enzyme inhibitors like trypsin inhibitors bind to digestive enzyme prevent the availability of protein. So, kung mag-bind siya dyan, so walang trypsin. So, trypsin is responsible for digestion of food. So, kung may mga inhibitor, tawag nung trypsin inhibitor siya, so it will uh, slow down the digestion process. So, it is toxic already. Hindi ma-digest yung food. Lectin, toxic protein found in legumes, agglutinates red blood cells. So, pwede siya mag-coagulate. Mga lectins, magkawang ng legumes. Bacterial toxin causes cholera, for example. Okay? That is a toxin uh, produced by Vibrio cholerae. Okay? Snake venom, a protein in nature. So, mayroon yung mga snake venom. Next. For experiment, you have nucleoproteins. So, nucleoproteins plus. These are... Uh, Proteins usually involved in the uh, uh, found in our uh, uh, genetic material. Okay, usually ito nagakumbine sa nucleic acids, both RNA and DNA, and involved in translation and gene transcription process. Okay, during the uh, multiplication process uh, or during the protein synthesis process. So nakita natin ito nito na tawag natin ng nucleoprotein. Okay. Yeah, for example, this is known to be the uh, ribonucleic capsid. Okay, so this is the nucleoprotein. Nucleoprotein nandoon yung genetic material niyan that plays an important role, especially in protein synthesis. Huh? So, preparation of nucleoproteins, we have 25 grams yeast. You compress, then sprinkle, triturate with water, transfer the liquid into container, so to make it 125 ml. So, Yung sodium hydroxide nyo, tawag dyan, extracting solvent natin. Add a little of toluene and stand with frequent shaking until next laboratory period. Then you filter. So, one drop of at a time, 10% HCl contain or adding milkiness is achieved. So, filter the and test the precipitate for nucleoprotein. So, this one is considered with preparation nucleoprotein. So, for precipitate, so water is slightly soluble for sodium chloride. 10% slightly very soluble sa uh, alkaline known as potassium hydroxide. Sa Milon's test, reddish brown because the presence of proteins. Kasi nucleoproteins na nga siya eh. Santoprotic yellow solution. So, when you add nitric acid, you incline and add nitric acid slowly. Incline mo. Okay. So, filtrate, 1 ml, 10% sodium hydroxide. So, you add 0.5% uh, copper sulfate. So, there's a blue solution. For nitric acid, yellow. Benedict's, blue. And molish test, purple ring interfe interface between the acid and test layer. So, may mga tawag na daw, junction between two layers na yan. Okay? So, nucleoproteins class, they have a protein part. At the same time, my nucleic acid. So, we have protamines. And then, we have, yung natawag na ito, na mga histones. So, histones, it is considered to be a strongly basic low molecular weight that combine with DNA to form nucleoproteins. So, take note, ito yung mga histones. So, next, their functions for gene activity. Pero yung mga protamines class, they are small base proteins that replace histones in the nucleus of the spermatozoa. Okay? Causing increased folding of the DNA. So, ito yung mga protamines sa spermatozoa naman ito sa sperm cell. So, nucleic acid natin contains deoxyribonucleic and ribonucleic acid. Okay? So, nucleic acids, you have nucleotides. Upon hydrolysis of your nucleotides class, 
it will yield phosphate and nucleoside. So, ang nucleoside, there are two types, the N-base and the pentose. Mga bak N-base, mayroon siyang amino group, purines, adenine, guanine, pyrimidine, cytosine, uracil, and thymine. While pentose, we have D-ribose and 2-deoxyribose. So, later on, we'll discuss how DNA works the uh, of the nucleotides. So, you have pyrimidine, the cytosine, uracil, thymine. Okay, you have purine, adenine, and guanine. So, for pentoses, we have deoxyribose and ribose. So, try to look at the different uh, functional group that is present. So, yung common talaga doon, magambal ka na uh, N group, they contain the amino group or nitro group or nitrogen group. Okay, yung mga mga nitro group that is NO. Okay. For types of nucleic acids, we have ribonucleic acids and deoxyribonucleic acid. So, the structure class... So, when you say DNA, most of you are familiar already, is present in the nucleus as part of the chromosomal structure which carries the genetic information. So, nandoon talaga yung natawag natin na deoxy, na yung, uh, deoxy uh, ribonucleic acid or DNA. Kasi yung difference ng between the two is just, i, kasi yung deoxy walang hydroxyl group, yung ribonucleic mayroon, di ba? So, usually, ang structure ng nucleus nyo, doon, naka, doon na naka... Uh, uh, tapik mismo o doon mismo ang structure ng DNA kasi sa'yo nagdadala ng genetic material okay, or genetic informations okay, for the needed for the protein synthesis so DNA is formed by two polynuclide chains twisted mo that is tawag natong double helix structure so consists of the deoxyribonuclease yung deoxyadenosine monophosphate or deoxyguanosine monophosphate or deoxycytosine monophosphate and deoxythymidine uh, monophosphate so ito yung tawag natin deoxy meaning wala siyang hydroxyl group dyan okay, if try to see the structure I mean of the glucose in that structure wala na siya dito pala sorry ito deoxy eh. okay so we have the phosphate group okay that is present so DNA double helix staircase spiral yan and anti-parallel DNA strands example for base pairing may pairing yan okay so this is example guanine cytosine cytosine guanine thymidine adenine adenine thymidine uh, thymine okay thymine or thymidine ba thymine so this one is considered to be ito na tawag natin mga phosphate group so they are being linked by oxygen to uh, carbon atom so there same lang so, replications. Before the divisions of the chromosomes, the amount of DNA is doubled. So, the two strands of DNA and upon each other, one strand, complementary strand, is synthesized. So, meaning, yung sa uh, this one is alanine, okay? Uh, the, the combination is considered to be AGCTC, di ba? So, kung AGCTC siya, for example, ganun, ang ating ano, cytosine, ganun, ganun, di ba? So, usually, pwede magkaroon ng natawag natin adenine ito. So, pwede na natawag na mag, magkaroon ng uh, separation of DNA. So, there is the formation of daughter strands. And see, this is the parent strands. So, sa, sa, sa splitting, so yung dalawang strand, mag, magkaroon ng natawag natin na daughter strands. So, it will form another two double helix structure in replication process. <coughs> okay? Yung RNA structure, it consists of 75 to several thousands of ribonuclides. Okay? The adenosine monophosphate, the guanosine monophosphate, okay? the uh, cytosine monophosphate, the uracil monophosphate. So, arranged in single strand, take note, presently in cytoplasm. So, types of, of RNA, we have the sRNA or the tRNA tRNA, the transfer transfer the RNA, we have the ribonus, the ribosomal RNA and the messenger RNA okay, so structure of soluble I mean soluble or transfer RNA class, this make up 15% of the total RNA cells okay, present in the soluble phase of cytoplasm, so ang functions ng RNA is to uh, carry amino acids from the cytosol to the ribosomes for the process of protein production or protein synthesis 
process.